Hey guys! Looking for some cute and easy nail art designs for Valentine's Day? Well, you've clicked on the right video, because today I'll be sharing my ultimate guide to Valentine's Day nail art. That's right, here you will find 10 different designs to fall in love with this Valentine's Day. You can choose to do them all, or mix and match a few. Let's begin with some red lips. To create the kiss on your nail, first paint your nail a light pink. Next, use a dotting tool dipped into red polish to create the top of the lip. To do this, create a lowercase m across the nail. Then join a curved line beneath it. Finally, thicken the lips while still leaving a space between them. Seal in your kiss with a top coat and you're done! The next design is a cute Valentine's cupcake. To begin, paint your nail a solid white. Next, use a big dotting tool and pink polish to create a row of dots across your nail. Then use a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick to paint a curved line from one side of the dots to the other. Then fill it in. Use a red striper to add the bottom of the cupcake. Draw a few vertical lines beneath it like so. Then carefully rotate your finger to add a horizontal line. Top off the cupcake with a big red heart. Slide the dotting tool down twice to easily create one. And finally add a few sprinkles with a hot pink striper. Then finish off with a top coat. Next we are going to be working on some pretty red roses. Begin by painting your nails a pale pink. Then use a dotting tool to add a few big dots over the nail. Next use a toothpick dipped into red polish to create some squiggly lines inside and around the big dot. Don't overthink it, just add some little lines over the dot and it will turn out great. Then do the same for the other roses. Use a green striper or a toothpick to add leaves. When using a striper, just dab the very tip onto the nail. Seal in your roses with a top coat. Next, get your toothpick ready for some cute ombre hearts. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a toothpick and a pale pink polish to create a heart. To create the hearts, gently pull the polish downwards and diagonally twice. Here you can watch me do this a bunch of times. Try practicing this technique on paper first and you'll be pro in no time. Choose a darker shade for each row to create the ombre effect. Finish off with a top coat and you're done! XOXO! Next, I'll show you an easy way to write kisses and hugs over your nail. Begin by painting your nail red. Next, use a big dotting tool to create two large dots. Then use a white striper to carefully cross two diagonal lines for the X's. Use a smaller dotting tool and red polish to finish the O's. And there you go! Just add a top coat and you're finished! The next design is a cute love letter. Begin by painting your nail white. Use a black striper to draw a diagonal line coming down from the top corner of your nail. Next, reposition your brush and continue that line in the opposite direction. Then draw a line coming up and almost meeting the middle, along with another one on the other side. Use a toothpick to create a little red heart on the envelope. Finish off with a top coat and your letter is ready to send. Next up is a cute and fun leopard heart design. Begin by painting your nail pink. Next, use a dotting tool and a darker pink to create a couple big hearts over the nail. I have never met 
Turn these hearts into leopard spots by using a toothpick and black polish. Outline the hearts partially. Make sure to outline the top and the bottom of the heart so that it keeps its shape. Then just add some random spots over the rest of the nail. Finally, finish off with a top coat. Now we have a tiny garden of heart flowers. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a small dotting tool to create a heart in the middle of the nail. Then use a toothpick to create a smaller heart on both sides. Use a black striper to draw vertical lines for the stems. Finally, use a toothpick to dot in some leaves. Seal in these pretty flowers with a top coat. Another really cute and easy design is pink plaid. Begin by painting your nail pink. Next, use a hot pink striper to draw two vertical lines coming down your nail. Have both hands rested on the table while you do this. Then add in two horizontal ones. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the brush still and slowly rotating the finger you're working on. Finally, paint a red vertical line down the middle of the nail. And then a horizontal one across it. Finish off with a top coat. The last design I have to share is a big heart at the tip of the nail. To do this, paint your nail white. Next, use a red polish to outline two big bumps at the tip of your nail. Turn your thumb towards you while you do this for best results. Then fill it in. Once that's dry, use a hot pink polish to create a smaller heart inside the red one by using two strokes like so. And finally, finish off with a top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! You now have 10 Valentine's Day designs to choose from to help spread love in the air. Which design was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to show me your recreations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care and I'll see you next time! Today's tutorial has been inspired by the sugar skulls from the Mexican holiday Day of the Dead. This colorful celebration remembers and honors those who have passed on. So let's get this cute polished design started. Begin by painting your nail two thin coats of white. Next, use a big dotting tool to create two large circles. Then, drag a smaller dotting tool upwards twice to create an upside-down heart. Use that same dotting tool to create two rows of black dots. As I mentioned earlier, the Day of the Dead is a colorful celebration, so we're going to add small, colorful dots around the eyes of the sugar skull. Next, add in white dots for the teeth. These should be slightly smaller than the black dots beneath them. You can use the same size dotting tool for it, but the trick is to not press it down the entire way so that the dots end up smaller. Then, separate the teeth by using a black striper and drawing a horizontal line along with some short vertical ones. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. For the rest of my nails, I chose to use these Sally Hansen Salon Effect nail polish strips. They're really easy to use. You just peel them off from the paper backing and then press them onto your nails. Finally, remove the excess and lightly file the tip. And that's it!
If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to easily create a gorgeous watercolor flower nail art design that's perfect for spring. I'm really excited because all the nail polishes I'll be using are from the new Formula X line which can be found at Sephora. The first shade is called White Matter and it's a very opaque white polish. The next colors are all from their new spring collection called The Cut. This gorgeous peachy pink is called Alive. I'll also be using Over the Top which is a light greenish yellow. And finally a light taupe called Dynamic. The final color I'll be using is from their new Liquid Crystals collection and it's a sparkly strawberry red color called Solar Flare. And of course, to have my mani last as long as possible, I'll be using the cleanser, base coat, and top coat from the system. And now for the tutorial! The first step is to use the nail cleanser to prep the nails and remove any residue. Next, I'm applying the base coat to help prolong the life of my polish. For the watercolor flower nails, begin by painting them two coats of white. After that has dried, add a blob of a glittery red polish and a peachy pink to a small piece of tin foil. To create the flowers, you will need a tiny flat paintbrush that you can find at your local craft store. Dip one corner of this brush into the glittery red and the other corner into the peachy pink. Your brush should then look similar to this. Dab the excess polish onto the tin foil and then move to your nail. To create the petals, place the brush on the nail and wiggle it back and forth while pulling it across the nail. Ta-da! A beautiful blended petal! Go ahead and add three or four more of these to finish the shape of the flower. You may need to load up your brush a second or third time with polish to do all the petals. If you have any extra space on the nail, it's a good idea to add another petal or two near the edge. Next, we're going to add a little detail. Place some greenish yellow polish and some glittery red polish onto the tin foil. Now you will need a tiny thin paintbrush. Again, you can find this at your local craft store. Dip the brush into the greenish yellow along with a touch of the glittery red for some definition. Paint a few lines over the nail to easily add some stems. Complete the design by using a light taupe to add some dots to the center of the flower by using a toothpick. And finally, paint the nails without the flowers a greenish yellow. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine to your nails. And that's it! I'd love to see your recreations, so please share them with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish and the hashtag FormulaX. You can also share your recreations and other nail art designs that you do on FormulaX.com. They have loads of nail art design photos shared by people like you to help inspire others to paint new manis. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more nail art videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time. After so many requests, you guys are finally getting a look at my nail polish room. From designing new nail art to chatting with you guys on Twitter and Instagram, this is where all of the cute polish magic happens. Now that you've seen a 360 of the room, let's take a look at some of my favorite things in it. Hung above my desk, I have a white and crystal chandelier that I got from a local closing warehouse. It was actually their display item, so when I got it, I needed to shorten the chain, dust it off, and hand polish the crystals on it. It was a great deal. Below the chandelier and desk, I have a fluffy white rug that I got on clearance from HomeSense. I find that rugs really pull a room together and add warmth to hardwood floors. My comfy white chair is from Overstock.com. Notice how most things are white in the room? It's because I wanted the nail polish bottles to pop. My desk and cabinets are all from Ikea, and I've changed all of the knobs on them to crystal ones that I got from my local hardware store. My lamp was also on clearance, but this time it was boxed from that closing warehouse I mentioned earlier. I really love all of the crystals on it and how they catch the sunlight, especially in the morning. And this is the computer I use to create my videos, and on the corner of my desk I have a few little items. The first one is a candle from Bath & Body Works. 
This one is called Hawaiian Hibiscus and it smells amazing and summery. I also have this little pot of flowers from HomeSense and a little box of cards for taking jot notes. Finally, I have Penelope the Flying Pig from Pier 1 Imports. My friend and I both have one of these and they're so cute because of their perfect depiction of overcoming impossible odds. Then one of my favorite things in this room is my recreation frame. I got this picture frame from Pier 1 Imports and I love to display recreations by you guys in it. I seriously love when you share your recreations with me and every so often I print off new ones and switch them up on my wall. If you'd like to share your recreations with me, use the hashtag CutePolish and who knows, maybe it could end up on my wall. On the other side of my room, I have my gold play button award from YouTube. I feel so blessed to be able to share my favorite hobby with you guys, so thank you so much. Now on to the nail polish. Yes, I have a ton, and no, you don't need this many bottles to enjoy doing nail art. I'm simply in love with polish, and I've been collecting bottles for quite some time now. Here you can see my base and top coats, white polish, iridescent glitters, light pinks, medium pinks, dark pinks, ending with reds. The final shelf has nudes, bronzes, and browns. My middle cabinet holds all of my oranges, yellows, and then I have my light greens and finally my dark greens. The third and last cabinet goes from light blue to dark blue, and then I have all of my lilacs and purples, and then some darker purples and plums. Finally, you can see my silvers, silver glitters, grays, and ending with solid black. Beneath the middle cabinet, I have three drawers of nail art supplies, so let's take a look inside them. The first drawer has my Shaney nail art kit with all kinds of little pots of decorations for your nails. I also have some stamping plates, some little containers of microbeads and blocking powder from Michael's Arts and Crafts, Sally Hansen nail polish strips, bandages and reinforcement labels both for Half Moon Mannies, nail art tattoos from my map nail art video, and a little Manny kit from Q-Tips. The middle drawer has all of my Sally Hansen nail art pens, some nail art flowers, pearls, gems, and practice wheels all from eBay. There's also some cotton swabs and cotton balls. Then I have all of my dotting tools, some makeup sponges because you guys know I love to use them for ombre little containers of studs, glitters, and microbeads, my favorite nail care product, which is the Burt's Bees Lemon Cuticle Cream, some toothpicks, tweezers, more studs, and some nail files. Then I have my cuticle pusher, nail art brushes, and crystal nail file. I also have a few Revlon and LA Colors nail art polishes, chalkboard nail art markers, and finally a few midi rings. The bottom drawer contains some less fun stuff, I guess. We have bubble white for cleaning and whitening nails with the little bowl that I use with it, cotton rounds and cotton balls for removing polish along with a few different bottles of polish remover. I also have a big box of cotton swabs here and Lush's Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I have a bottle of nail polish thinner and the spray bottle of hand sanitizer that I used when I came up with the idea of water spotting for you guys. I also have a little carrying case for six polishes from OPI. And finally, a purple case full of nail art brushes from Shaney Cosmetics. And that's it for my room tour and nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed a sneak peek of behind the scenes at Cute Polish. I'd love to see your nail polish collection, big or small, so please share it with me using the hashtag MyPolishCollection. Take care guys, and I'll see you next time. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this bold, eye-catching design inspired by pineapples. I've been seeing a lot of pineapple stuff everywhere this season, from clothing to phone cases. This is such a fun look for summer, so let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails yellow. You will most likely need two coats to make it opaque. Once that's completely dried, use an orange striper to create big X's across the nail. The easiest way to do this is by keeping your brush still while slowly rotating your finger. The length of your nail will determine how many X's you will need. Here I'm doing three. Remember to slightly overlap the ends of each X. Next up is the leaves. 
I wanted to keep them easy and simple. So we're going to draw them on the tip using a green striper. Think of it as if you're above the pineapple, looking down at some of the wispy leaves that are covering the fruit. Remember to keep your hand rested on the table while you do this. Once your leaves are completely dried, you'll want to take a dark green striper to outline the leaves. This will give the design a cartoony look and will allow for the leaves to pop. Finally, you'll want to finish off with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! A super fun and bold pineapple design. If you decide to give this a try, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Take care and I'll see you next time! In today's video, I'll be sharing a super cute and easy pastel penguin nail art design. This ultra cute design is perfect for both winter and spring and can be done easily on both hands. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Choose a pastel color and paint your nail with one or two coats depending on the opacity of the polish. Next, use a white polish, preferably with a large brush, and stroke it down the nail, leaving space above and on both sides. Add a little black eyes using a dotting tool or toothpick. For the beak, use an orange polish and pull the dot across a little to extend it. And finally, dot two feet for the penguin at the tip of your nail. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! You now have a cute and colorful penguin manicure. And don't worry if your penguins don't all look identical. It will give them character. Please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an amazing marbled manicure without having to use the traditional water in a cup method. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint on your base color a little thicker than usual. You don't want it to be too thick, just a little. Add a few blobs of two different colors over the wet nail. You don't want these blobs to be too big because you want the nail to dry easily. Use the amount I've used as a guideline. Now here comes the fun part. Use a toothpick to gently swirl the colors together while they're still wet. I find that 5 to 8 swirls usually works best. Once you're satisfied with your little work of art, wait one minute and then apply a fast drying top coat over the design. Even though it may seem like a lot of polish, my nails were completely dried in about 5 to 10 minutes. And that's it! I hope you found this technique for creating marbled nails helpful. There are so many unique designs and color combinations that you could use for this design. If you decide to give it a try, please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Bright rainbow colors, lovely hearts, and fun leopard spots. Today's tutorial will show you a quick and easy design that will make your nails pop. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails with a lighter pastel shade of the one you plan on using for the hearts. To easily create perfect hearts, dip your dotting tool or toothpick into the polish. Then drag the color diagonally on the nail. Dip the dotting tool back in again, and finish the heart by dragging the tool in the opposite direction. Continue painting hearts over your nail. Three or four will look best.
Then use a toothpick dipped in black polish to partially outline the hearts to make them look similar to leopard spots. I like to make sure that the top and the bottom of the heart are outlined so that the heart shape is obvious. Don't worry about it looking perfect. This nail art is doodle inspired so you want it to look homemade. Finally, add little black spots in open areas. Once your nails are finished, give them ample time to dry. Black polish smudge is the easiest, so we don't want to ruin our new mani. Now that the polish has dried, add a top coat to seal in the design. Here, I've chosen to use a matte top coat because it will make the nails pop even more and add to the cartoon look. And that's it! If you decide to give this design a try, please show me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hi guys, it's Cute Polish, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this really cute and fun nail art design. It's a mix and match nautical style that's perfect for summer. For this look, I'll be using a bunch of colors from Formula X which can be found exclusively at Sephora. The first three colors I'm using are from their new summer collection called The Cut. I'll be using Wonderkind, White Matter, and Enriched. I'll also be using Pyrotechnic and Out of Sight. And of course, I'll be using the cleanser, base coat, and top coat from the system. So let's jump right into the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to be doing is removing my old polish. To do this, I'll be using a new product from Formula X called Delete All. Unscrew the lid to find a sponge with five holes in it for your fingers. Place your fingers in and move them back and forth gently to remove the polish. I'm so in love with this product because it removes my polish so easily and quickly. It's great to be able to remove the polish from all five fingers at the same time. And there you go, polish free nails. To start the mani, I'm using the cleanser to remove oils and residue from my nails. Next, I'm adding the base coat over my nails to prolong the life of my mani. Now for the three different designs. The first one is a glitzy gold, so I'm beginning by painting my nails with a golden bronze polish. After that's dried, I'm layering a chunky gold glitter polish for some sparkle. For the anchor nails, I'm beginning by painting my nails white. Then, I'm taking a tiny paintbrush and a red polish and marking off four dots as guidelines for the anchor. Next, I'm connecting them. First with a vertical line, and then two curved lines. Finally, I'm adding a horizontal line at the very top. The last step with the brush is painting a tiny triangle at both ends of the anchor. Then use a dotting tool to create a red dot at the top, and after that's dried, finish the design with a tiny white one using a toothpick. For the final striped nail, begin by painting the nail white and allow it to completely dry. Next, cut three thin strips of tape and place them horizontally across the nail. Make sure that they're straight and that you press down on the tape securely. Quickly paint a midnight blue or red polish over the nail. Make sure to cover all of the white. Then remove the pieces of tape immediately. This will leave you with perfect crisp lines. An easy way to create gorgeous stripes on both hands. Ta-da! Finish off your new nautical mani with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! Mix and match these three designs to create your very own nautical mani. Don't forget to share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish and the hashtag FormulaX. Love you guys so much, take care, and I'll see you next time. Katniss Everdeen, The Girl on Fire In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you the perfect manicure to wear to watch the opening of the second installment of the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire. This nail art design has been inspired by Katniss's bow, the arrow on the Mockingjay pin, and of course the flames. All while keeping the book cover's color scheme. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails two thin coats of yellow. Use a black striper to paint a half circle near your cuticle. 
Then draw a vertical line splitting it in half. Paint a tiny triangle at the tip of the line. You may find it easier to use a toothpick to do this. Use whatever tools work best for you. Using an orange striper, paint many thin lines on the tip of your nail. Only dip the brush into the polish once or twice because you want it to be slightly faded and wispy to look like real flames. Add a second layer using red. Only bring the flames halfway up the orange ones. Again, don't use too much polish on the brush. You want to press the brush against the nail to pull off the little polish remaining on it. This gives more realistic looking flames. Paint the very tip a solid red. Once everything has dried, add a top coat to seal in your design, add a beautiful shine, and also blend the flames together even more. And that's it! Don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, may the odds be ever in your favor, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! Pantone, a global authority of color, has just released its color of the year. This color will be a huge trend in the world of beauty and fashion in 2014. So which color did they announce? Radiant Orchid, a gorgeous purple hue with fuchsia pink undertones. So in today's video, I'm going to be using some of the polishes from the Formula X line, which you can only find at Sephora, to create a nail design inspired by Radiant Orchid. The first color I'll be using is called Harmonix, and it's a great match to the Radiant Orchid color. I'll also be using Ignition for a darker shade in the same color family. And finally, I'll be adding in some Enigma for a bright pop of contrasting color. I'm so excited to share this design with you because it's a bright and fun look that will have everyone in awe over your nails. The best part about this design is that it's quick and easy and only requires polishes and a toothpick. The first step to this manicure is using the nail cleanser from the system. This cleanses your nails of impurities and will extend the life of your mani. Next, apply the base coat to protect your natural nails. Now we're going to paint our nails with one coat of a color similar to Radiant Orchid. As mentioned earlier, I'm using Harmonix. Before allowing that to dry, take a darker shade, here I'm using Ignition, and wipe the top and bottom of the brush off while still leaving some polish on the sides. This step is important because we don't want too much polish on the brush. Then glide the side of the brush down the edge of your nail to create a stripe. Quickly take a bright turquoise, here I'm using Enigma, and wipe off the top and bottom of the brush again. Then glide the side of the brush down the nail to add another stripe of color. Working quickly again, because you don't want these three colors to dry, use a toothpick to drag the colors from one side of the nail over to the other. Repeat this step three to five times, depending on the length of your nails. For a cleaner look, try to keep your lines as straight as possible, and keep the space between them even. Finally, add a top coat over your nail to seal in your design, add a beautiful shine, and smooth out the texture. And now you have the perfect manicure for 2014. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish and the hashtag FormulaX. Good luck! Take care and Hi I'll guys. see you next time! In today's video, I have a quick and easy nail art tutorial for you and all you'll need for this design is nail polish. That's right, no tools at all, just your favorite bottles of nail polish. The design I will be showing you today is called the Dry Brush Mani and it's inspired by the dry on dry technique used in painting. Pair it with your favorite neon polish and you have the perfect summertime nails. Let's get started with a base coat to protect our natural nails. Next, use a light nude polish for your base color. This will allow the colors to pop. Use two coats to increase the opacity. It's important to allow the base color to completely dry before moving on to the next step. When adding the colors, wipe both sides of the brush off using the neck of the polish bottle. We want very little polish left on the brush for this technique. Continue to remove polish from the brush by wiping both sides of it onto paper. Then layer what's left on the brush over your nude polish. Here you can see a great example of how much polish should be wiping off on your nail. 
You don't want too much or to look messy. Because there is very little polish on the nail, it tends to dry very quickly, so you can go ahead and layer on another color without waiting for it to dry. It's best to use colors that go together well. Here I've chosen colors inspired by the shirt I'm wearing. Continue layering three or four colors until you're happy with the result. Finish your mani with a fast drying top coat. This will help blend the colors together and seal in your design. Looking to add a little edge to the mani? Go ahead and add a small metallic stud near the cuticle. Then seal it in with a top coat to have the stud stay in place. And that's it! Don't forget to share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Love you guys so much, take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a nail art design based on one of my favorite best-selling books, The Fault in Our Stars. This design was inspired by the book cover, Hazel and Gus, and would be an awesome mani to wear to the premiere of the upcoming movie. All you'll need to recreate this design is a blue polish in the shade of the book cover, white and black polish, a tiny paintbrush, a base and top coat, some newspaper clippings, a bottle of rubbing alcohol, and a small glass or container. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails blue and allow them to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Once your nails are dry, pour some rubbing alcohol into a small container. Next, dip a piece of newspaper into it. A brand new newspaper works best as the ink is fresh and easily transferable. Firmly press the newspaper over your nail. Add lots of pressure to ensure the ink transfers. Do this for about 20 seconds. Remove the paper and the words will be left behind. And you will most likely have words left on your fingers too. You can easily clean this up with a cotton bud dipped in water. Next, dip a large dotting tool into black polish and dot a large cloud shape over your middle finger. Then do the same but this time with white polish on your ring finger. Once the clouds are completely dried, use a tiny paintbrush and a white polish to paint the word OK over the black cloud with a question mark at the end. Keep both your hands rested on the table while you do this. You could also ask a family member or a friend to help you out if your hand is too shaky. Then add OK in black to the white cloud. Finish off your new mani with either a shiny or matte top coat. And that's it! If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! It's spring, so I thought I'd bring on the colorful nail tutorials. I've been seeing a lot of yin yangs in the world of beauty and fashion, so I thought I'd turn it into a cute and easy mani for you guys. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails one coat of white. Once that's completely dried, take a porous makeup sponge and paint three colored stripes to create a gorgeous ombre. Sponge this over your nail to create the first thin layer. As you can see, it will need more than one to make it opaque. So use the same makeup sponge and just reapply the three colors over the stripes again. Sponge one last time and you will be left with a beautiful color gradient. Then take a white striper and draw a wavy line down the nail. Next use the striper to fill in one side with white. Take your time while doing this and remember to keep both hands rested on the table. Use a dotting tool to add a white dot to the colored side. For the white side, you will need a marbleized dot to match the ombre. So mix the top two of your ombre colors together with the dotting tool to create the perfect dot. Add this dot to the white side of your yin yang. Finish off with a fast drying top coat. 
This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. The last step is to clean up around your cuticles with a cotton swab and polish remover. I like to do this as the last step because it's a lot harder to take the polish off the actual design once it's been sealed with the top coat. And that's it! A cute and trendy design for your fingertips. If you decide to give this design a try, please share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! In today's tutorial, I wanted to show you a nail trend that I'm currently obsessed with. It's a crushed shell mani, and I think it's so fun and unique for summer. To create this design, I used a Ciate kit that I found while I was shopping at Sephora. It said it used real crushed shells, and I decided I just had to buy it and try it out. Inside, you can see that it comes with a nail polish, crushed shells, and a funnel. So let's get started! As always, the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a base coat to protect my natural nails. Next, I'm taking the pink polish that came in the kit and I'm painting one coat and allowing it to completely dry. Then, I'm applying a second coat over the nail. While this coat is still wet, take the crushed shells and sprinkle them all over the nail. Don't worry about getting it on the table because the kit comes with a funnel so you can place it back in the bottle after. Next, use your finger to firmly press the shells into the polish. This will grip the shell pieces onto the nail. Make sure to press down all over the nail. Next, you will want to remove the excess shells. Here, I'm using a fan brush. Then, I'm taking the back of the brush to push any shell pieces that are covering my skin. You could also try using a toothpick for this. Make sure to get the tip of the nail too. Once that's all done, you will want to apply a generous amount of a fast drying top coat. This will sink down and around the shell pieces and anchor it to the nail so it will last for days. And that's it! You can try doing this design over all of your nails like this, or you could also opt to do it just as an accent nail. Which one's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Take care you guys, and I'll see you next time! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create one of my favorite nail art designs for summer. Inspired by the beach, this cute design will have little seashells and starfish all over your fingertips. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat and then paint your nails a mint green. Next, use a dotting tool or a toothpick dipped into turquoise polish to create a seashell. The shape is really similar to a balloon. When creating shapes with a dotting tool, I like to use a stippling motion. This means that I'm lightly tapping the tool up and down. Then, if your nail is long enough, add another seashell. The next step is to take an orange polish and create a starfish. This step is really easy, just create five lines. Then if you have extra space on the nail, create a fraction of a starfish. So now we are going to add the details. Draw thin lines through the top part of the seashell using the exact same color that you painted your nails with. I wiped off a striper brush from an old yellow bottle and then dipped it into the bottle of my base color. For the starfish, use a toothpick to create tiny dots all over them. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! I can't wait to see your recreations, so please share them with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys! Are you ready for a new summer design? This tutorial will show you how to create a bright and fun color blocked manicure with cute palm tree silhouettes. It's a great design for pool parties and those hot summer nights. 
So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off by painting your nail white. Next, use a black striper to create three horizontal lines. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the brush still and slowly rotating the finger. Another tip is that when the line is almost to the end of the nail, press down on the brush very gently to finish the line without getting any on your skin. Of course, if you get polish on your skin, it's no big deal. Just clean it up afterwards with a remover. The next step is to fill in the top portion with a hot pink polish. I like to use a toothpick to do this because it gives me more control over where I'm placing the polish, especially when using my non-dominant hand. And guys, don't forget to use a stippling motion when using a toothpick. Of course, you can also use a striper to fill in the sections too. That's what I'm demonstrating here as I fill in the second section with a bright yellow. The third section is aqua blue. Feel free to use any colors you like from your own nail polish collection. I chose these colors because I really wanted to have a bright and fun manicure, but a sunset color scheme would look great too. And finally, I'm adding lilac purple. If you've gotten any colored polish over the black lines, go back in with the black striper and retrace them. Now it's time to draw the palm tree. Begin the black striper in the middle of the yellow section and slowly pull it down while giving it a slight curve. Press down harder as you get near the bottom to thicken the trunk a little. Add the branches by drawing a few lines coming out from the center. Then go back in and add more lines to thicken it. Once you're happy with how your little palm tree looks, finish it off with a generous amount of a fast drying top coat. And that's it! An alternate manicure would be to paint the palm tree design on just one nail and then paint one of your nails pink, one yellow, one blue, and one purple. Please share your recreations with me, I love to see them. And don't forget to subscribe for more nail art designs. Take care, and I'll see you next time! One of my favorite and most eye-catchy nail art designs is butterfly wings. In today's video, I'll be incorporating spring colors along with the trend of texturized polishes. This design is sure to wow those around you and will look amazing with your spring outfits. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails with a texturized polish. These special polishes can be found in most nail polish brands. The bottle I'm using is from Nicole by Opi. Add a second coat of the textured polish for an opaque finish. Then allow it to dry. The finished look will have a rough texture. It's really fun to touch, addictive even. Use at your own risk. Next, use a polish in black and slowly rotate your finger to paint the tip of your nail on an angle. Use a black striper to add in a half circle near your cuticle. Remember to keep the brush still and slowly rotate your finger. And then add three lines connecting the half circle to the black tip. Finally, use the striper to add curves where the lines meet the tip. You may find it even easier to use a toothpick to do this. As you can see, all of the regular black polish has become texturized after being applied over the bumpy base color. The last step is to add white spots with a dotting tool to the tip of the nail. You won't be using a top coat for this mani as it would ruin the texture. And that's it! A gorgeous combo of nature, spring colors, and texture! If you decide to give this mani a try, then please share your recreations with me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care and I'll see you next time! In today's video, I have a fun tutorial for an easy tribal print mani. This is an awesome look for spring and summer, and it's super trendy. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next, paint your nails one coat of white and allow it to completely dry. On a porous makeup sponge, paint three pastel colors in stripes. I'm using blue, yellow, and pink, but you can use any colors you'd like. 
Then sponge this over your nail. Add the colors back on the sponge and do a second layer to make the ombre more opaque. And now for the fun part. Use a black striper to create a few lines over the nail. This can be easily done by keeping the brush still and slowly rotating your finger. Have fun with this part and create thin lines, thicker lines, horizontal ones, vertical ones, zigzag, whatever you want. Mix it up on each nail to add more interest to the design. You could also add in some dots. After your design has dried, finish off with a generous amount of top coat to prevent smearing. The final step is to clean up around your nail with a cotton swab dipped into polish remover. And that's it! A super fun and trendy design for your fingertips. I would love to see your recreations, so please share it with me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time!